morning, parents, guardians, friends, and family. Thank you for joining us to have our annual In the Fourth Black History Show. This month, we read a book titled Shades of Black, A Celebration of Our Children. The book helped us make self-to-text connections. The official colors of black history are black, red, yellow, and green. Today, we wear green and black. They symbolize unity and pride. These colors are from, founded from the Ethiopian flag and the Pan-African flag that was created in 1912. Here's Tyler Toole's Chris show. Tyler Toole will be reading a poem titled, Hey Black Child. Hey Black Child, do you know who you are? Who you really are? Do you know you can be what you want to be? If you try to be what you can be. Hey Black Child. Do you know where you're going? Where you really going? Do you know you can learn what you want to learn? If you try to learn, what you can learn? Hey, black child, do you know you are strong? I be really strong. Do you know you can do what you want to do? If you try to do what you can do. Hey, black child, be what you can be. Learn what you can learn. Do what you can do. And tomorrow, your nation will be what you want it to be. Good morning, friends and family. We are Tyler One, and today we are celebrating our Black History Month. And my name is Miss Mariah. With me, I have Miss Deanna and Miss Dina, and all of Tyler One kids. So, our main topic is about I am blessed, I'm smart, and I can do anything. Miss Deanna is going to read us a poem, and she's going to take it from here. The book we read was I Am Smart, I Am Blessed, I Can Do Anything by Alisa Holder and Zulika Holder Young. The story is about a boy named I Am waking up for school and feeling unhappy because he's worried about not knowing all the answers and not being smart enough at school. His mother engages him in a loving problem solving strategy by encouraging him to recite a positive affirmation. I am smart, I am blessed, I can do anything. I am still feels worried as he starts his walk to school, but he slowly grows more confident as he's greeted by friendly and neighbors. Throughout the story, I am is empowered by the simple yet meaningful words of affirmation, and he starts to believe that they are true. And my kids are blessed, they are smart, and they can do anything. Good morning, parents and guardians. My name is Miss Marcy, and this is Miss Adrian. Uh, this is We Touch Three class, and we have our presentation for Black History Month. This is the book that we chose for Black History Month. The name of the book is Mommy, What Do You See When You Look At Me? So we were discussing the book and we read the book for a number of times during class. We, we talked about the book, we were able to ask questions to the children and some of the, um, in, as you can see, like, they were able to say that they were at the park and they were eating. So the children loved the book and they enjoyed the story. So um, that was our Black History Month book. I just want to also add to the parents that we appreciate your effort in supporting us along this journey. And we are thanking you for trusting us with your children. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of your day. Hello, everybody.
everyone. My name is Ms. Tucker, and this is Ms. Liverpool, and we are We Taught Six. Our book for Literacy Week for Black History Month was Dream Big Little One. And for Black History Month, we understand that it focuses on contributions made by black and brown leaders of America. During this month, we honor those who fought for our culture and our rights while recognizing our faults, struggles, progress, and aspirations. We celebrate those like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, and a list of others who have made a difference and paved the way for success amongst blacks. Our book ties into the month because it is based on accomplished and successful black women who set out to be great. Although this features 18 trailblazing black women in America, we believe all of our scholars will strive and grow to be heroes, role models, and everyday individuals who do extraordinary things. We have faith they will be molded to be bold young men and women whose actions and beliefs contribute to making the world better for new generations of girls and boys to come. We must continuously encourage our children to dream big and follow whatever their dreams and hearts may desire. Black history is extremely important for young ones to learn of their ancestors. So please take the time and introduce them to the great ancestors they have to aspire to be anything they can be. The author we are highlighting is Vashti Harrison. She wrote two books, Dream Big Little One. And Follow Your Dreams Little One. And her bio is Vashti Harrison was born in 1988 as an American writer, illustrator, and filmmaker who was based in Brooklyn, New York. She was born in Virginia to an African-American father and an Indian mother who is from Trinidad and Tobago. She earned her BA in 2010 from the University of Virginia as a double major in media studies and studio art with concentration in films and cinematography. She then went on to receive her MFA in film and media from California Institute of Arts in 2014, where she attended Disney and DreamWorks animation classes. She held the UNSPA 50 Years Fellowship in the McIntyre Department of Art in 2010. Ms. Harrison's films and other arts are in the Caribbean heritage. The two books that we chose from Miss Vashti's collection were Little Leaders and Follow Your Dreams, Little One. These books portray and for or little ones the best the best they can be to be the best they can be they chose to be in the future. We are with Tats 2. This is Miss Littles, Miss Duncan, and we are going to perform I Am Special. Okay, one, two, three. No one looks the way I do. No one says the things I I am. I am me. I am. I am me, and there is. I rather be than me. Let's do that again. No one looks the way I do. No one says the things I. I am. I am me. I'd rather be than me. You ready? One, two, three. I am special. I am special. If you look, you will see someone who is special. Someone who is special. Yes, that's me. 
Yes, that's me. I am special. I am special. If you look up, you will see someone who is special. Someone who is Yes, that's me. Yes, that's me. And you and me. Guardians to our Black History Month presentation. My name is Miss Ebony, this is Miss Francis, and this is Miss Vicky. And today we are talking about Mae Jameson. And this is the book that I read to the children about Mae Jameson. It's called May Among the Stars by Rhoda Ahmed. And it's, it's a beautiful picture book that talks about how from the time that she was a young girl, she dreamed of being an astronaut. Her parents encouraged her, but her teacher didn't. But all through the book that her parents kept saying to her, if you dream it and you work hard, it can happen. And then she did grow up to become an astronaut. So on the poster, I put a picture from the book of her pretending to be an astronaut as a young girl. And then her, the real picture of Mae Jameson, grown up, being an astronaut next to her spaceship, next to her rocket. And I had, I read, when I read the story, we asked the children many questions about the book. And they were able to say that she went into outer space among the stars, that she wanted to look down and see Earth from outer space, and that she was really happy that she achieved her dream. Hi. Hi. My name is Paper Helmet, and the Happy Kids for the space and logo, and now we introduce you to Mae Jemison. Hi, what's your name? Hello everyone, my name is Miss Jackie and this is LT7. Welcome parents to our Black History presentation. We are future in What makes a hero? Jackie Robinson loves sports, especially baseball. He would run, leap, and throw better than any other kid around. But he lived, but he lived at a time when the rules weren't fair to African Americans. Even though Jackie was a great athlete, athlete, he wasn't allowed the best in the best team just because of the color of his skin. Jackie knew that sports made best when everyone or every color played together. He becomes the first black baseball player on a major league team and his bravery help leads the way to equality and sports in America. Good morning parents. Good morning. I'm Ms. Harrison, OTW Thoughts 8. We are presenting with Wilma Rudolph for our Black History Month project. Okay. Wilma Rudolph was born in 1940 and she died in 1994. Like Forrest Gump, she could not walk but she could run. Also like Forrest, she contracted polio. If you remember, Forrest had to run from run away from his from the bullies. The rest is history. Wilma Rudolph also made history when her leg braces came off. She challenged all the neighborhood boys to a race. She joined the school and led her basketball team to victory, regaining 800 points within a year. While there, she was scouted by an athletics coach, and in 1960, she went to the Rome Olympics. There, she got three gold medals. She was the first woman to garner three gold medals in one Olympics. She was the youngest there and she showed that not only men could sprint but women could do it also. 
Therefore, we have coming after her. We have Gail Divas. We have um, Jackie Joyner Kersey. And we have. And we have. Okay. Parents, this is the book that we read. Wilbur Rudolph. And this is our presentation about her. Parents, guardians, family, and friends of Pre-K-1 and Pre-K-10, welcome, welcome to, to our Black History presentation. presentation. I am Mrs. Clark. I am Ms. Mahogany. Today, we reflect on some of the inventions of Dr. George Washington Carver. He was a scientist who beat the odds and worked extensively with peanuts. He also experimented and studied the best farming methods for crops such as sweet potatoes, cow peas, small grains, corn, alfalfa, and plums. He's known as the peanut man because he invented over 300 uses for peanuts. Our noble children will tell you about these. Perhaps you too have invented, or will invent something others will find useful. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. Oh. Pre-K-1, Pre-K-10 presents George Washington Carver. Dr. Carver invented mayonnaise! Dr. Carver invented cheese! Cooking oil. Doctor Carver is venting his oil. Doctor Carver invented hand lotion.
A Blaze with Colors is the story of Alma Woodsy Thomas, an African-American painter and art teacher. She is known for her abstract painting of using small strokes of bright colors to create large pictures. Alma was the first fine arts graduate from our university in 1924. She taught art for 35 years at a DC junior high school. After retiring from teaching, Alma was able to concentrate on her art full time and there she finally developed her signature style. She created colors and patterns she remembered from her childhood. She was inspired by nature all around. Most of her painting are with circles and lines which she designed artistically. Many of her artwork includes all the colors of the rainbow. At the age of 75, she debuted her abstract artwork in an exhibition at Howard University in 1966. Alma was the first black woman to have an art exhibition show at Whitney Museum in New York City. Alma's artwork was selected by President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama to hang in the White House Old Dining Room. Our painting titled Resurrection was the first artwork by a black woman to be added to the White House permanent collection. And today we present to you our Alma inspired art. Presentation is on Ella Fitzgerald. I'm Ms. Prasad and that is Mr. Jamal, teachers of pre-K6. Mm -hmm. Two, three. The name of the song is a ticket to casket by Ella Fitzgerald. Biscuit, a casket, a green and yellow basket. I wrote a letter to my friend, and on the way I dropped it. I dropped it, I dropped it. Yes, you know I dropped it. A little boy picking up and put it in his pocket. Hello parents, my name is Miss Dean and this is Miss Pilgrim and our class of PK7. Our, our project is on Ruby Bridges and we will be talking about a short scenario about Ruby Bridge. Ruby Bridge was six years old when she became the first black child to enter a grade in the school system. In 1916, Ruby Bridge, courage and bravery changed the course of history. Today we are presenting a famous black woman, Madam C.J. Walker. She was born to slave owners, Owen and Minerva Breedlove. She was born on December 23rd, 1867. She died on May 25th, 1919. She was famous for her hair product. Thus we are presenting to you Madam C.J. Walker. I am a woman at the America. I am a damn C.J. Walker. 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 I am a woman who came from the car field of the tower. From there, I was a motel to the water. 
from there I can go to the cook kitchen. And from there I promoted myself into the business of manufacturing hair products and preparation. Madame C.J. Walker was the first black woman millionaire in America. Madame C.J. Walker was the first black woman Miriam Hughes. Night State.